There are times when you uh, look at your wood, it's just arrived on the workbench, you think it's been prepared and there's a next level that you may want to take it to. Often I take my wood to a new level, it's been through a machine, it doesn't matter whether I've hand planed it. There are things that occur in wood when you take it from a rough tree, you uh, dry it out, it comes into the workshop, it gets slabbed into slabs, then it goes into boards, then it goes into billets and smaller pieces. I've got my small sections here. Is it ready for actual joinery? Well, I feel like it's not because there are undulations in the surface of the wood. There are curves and bends that come after you've cut it, after you've passed it through a machine. It can create, the machine itself or the hand planing itself can actually change the surface of the board. I want my wood dead square, dead straight, without twisting it. So when I get to this stage, I've got some boards here. Uh, I look at the surfaces and I've actually marked these just to show you a little bit of what I mean here. If I take a, a crayon like this, this has come from the machine. You can see across here, there are lines going across the wood that I don't think is acceptable. Plus, when it comes to the joinery, if I was fitting a dado into a groove, then I would want that to be down to its nearest final size. So I might want to take a thousandth of an inch off here. Let me do that now and show you what I mean. I've got my plane, I've milled the wood. I take a few swipes with the plane and then I wipe this on here. And there's no undulation in the surface. This is silky smooth. I have no undulation and that's really what I'm looking for. On this face here, there are lines going across here caused by nicks in the blade. Those need to come out because they actually will affect the plane uh, or the layout when you offer your square to the edges here to this face, they have to be just a little bit more refined. So there may even be face mark on here, face edge on here from that previous level, but still not good enough for my joinery. So I've trued this edge up. Normally I would true the face up. So again, the same thing happens. You take your plane, you take off a few thou off here like this. And now this is silky smooth again. So. I would then put my face mark on here, face edge on here, and let me show you all those little marks that came from, now these are my plane marks, but they're thousandth of an inch. They're just me barely there. If I want to take those out again, I can go to another level with a scraper and take those out as well. This is refining the stock. This edge still has the saw marks in it because it was sawn to width and it's fairly accurate, but it's still not refined. So we take those out. So what happens when you come, this piece is a little bit too long. I want to cross cut this to length. I've got my face mark on here. I've got my edge on here. Can you see here, this end is just out of square. I may need that to be square because it may affect the joiner that I'm working on. If this was going into a housing dado, this would have to be square because otherwise my side piece would be out of square. So I get my length from an already squared end. So my square end here goes here. And this is me refining my work, but this comes off a saw cut yet again. So I'm registering my square against the two prepared edges that I know I've trued up. I've made them straight. I've made them square. This is a refinement for the next level. So I cross cut. Like this. By using the knife wall all the way around, I don't get any breakout on here or the underside, which I would often get with a machine. You can see my knife wall here. That's, there's the knife wall. So I cut slightly out of square, not wanting to cut into it, not wanting to undercut it because I want it dead square. 
If I put this in the vise here on such a short piece, when I start to plane, I have nothing here to register against. Uh, it's quite difficult to do. I would usually go to a shooting board. And this is just a jig that we have that we often use. And this guarantees the squareness of the end in both directions. This, this, be, this piece here, it's a removable piece here. You can take this out, slide it in, tap it home, and it's dead square along this long axis here. When I put my plane on here, I just simply use that stop like that and I get the dead square end. So now that I've rough cut this, I put my square on here. I've got square this way, I'm square this way. That's how I prepare my stock. And, and then I have to check for weird things like that, but it's all a question of accuracy. We're working down to these, the minute now. This is what prepares it for the joinery that I want. Thank you.